My name is Kelvin Do and I am an inventor. It's time for Perspective next, and our guest today is Kelvin Doe, who once went by the name DJ Focus. In a world running out of energy, a young boy emerges with a secret that could change everything. Imagine a power so pure and limitless, it could light up every home on Earth for free. This might sound like science fiction, but it's the unbelievable reality of Kelvin Doe, a teenage genius from Sierra Leone who claims to have discovered free energy generators. Today, we dive into Kelvin's mysterious journey, filled with late-night experiments, hidden blueprints, and shadowy forces desperate to stop him. Kelvin grew up in darkness, both literal and figurative. In his neighborhood, electricity came only a few hours a day, so by night the streets were silent and pitch black. But Kelvin was restless. Even as a child, he collected scraps of metal, wires and old batteries, anything he could get his hands on. The local kids played football under the moonlight, while Kelvin often tinkered with gadgets under a dim lamp. He stared at the stars, thinking about harnessing that energy to power the world. He even dismantled old radios just to see their secrets. By the age of 13, he had built a battery-powered radio transmitter that stunned everyone around him. He earned the nickname DJ Focus for his homemade radio station. But that early success was only a hint of the genius brewing inside him. One night, as Kelvin sat under a flickering lamp, he dreamed of a world where no child had to study by candlelight and no village shivered in the cold. He imagined power flowing from the sun, the wind, even the air itself. He started sketching designs of a generator unlike anything on earth, something beyond fossil fuels or batteries. Some say he was guided by inspiration or mysterious whispers in the darkness. In the small tin shed behind his house, Kelvin began his secret project. Using old radio parts and a rusted car alternator, he twisted magnets in ways he had figured out from late night study. Day after day, sparks flew. Slowly, a strange humming machine took shape. Finally, as dawn approached one morning, Kelvin flipped the switch. The device sprang to life. Lights blinked, a small motor whirred, and even after disconnecting the battery, the motor continued to spin as if powered by magic. Kelvin had done the impossible. He'd built a generator that kept running on its own. When news spread that a teenager had built a self-powered generator, the world was skeptical. Reporters dismissed it as a trick. Scientists scoffed and called it a hoax. But Kelvin's demonstration proved them wrong. The machine really did keep running. Video clips of the glowing device went viral in seconds. Whispers started. Could hidden governments be furious about this? Did aliens or secret societies have a hand in it? Soon big questions hung in the air. The question on everyone's mind was, was this boy a hero or a threat? Kelvin's life took a dark turn. Strange men in suits began circling his tiny lab. One evening, two black SUVs parked just outside his compound. Chills ran down Kelvin's spine as their headlights blazed in the darkness. He sensed they weren't lost. They had come looking for him. In the dead of night, agents sent by unnamed powers appeared at his door, offering bribes and threats. Give up your research, they warned. Sell us the technology, and you can have an easy life. Kelvin's heart pounded like a drum, but he was not tempted. He realized the truth. Powerful oil and energy companies, the so-called giants of the world, felt threatened. If free energy worked, their empires would crumble. They wanted him silent. Instead of backing down, Kelvin went deeper underground. He moved his operation to an abandoned mine hidden in the mountains. He wasn't alone. Apart from a retired science teacher who believed in him, Kelvin gathered a few young friends who shared his vision. They were dreamers and hackers, artists and tinkerers, all united by one goal, to see the lights on for everyone. With the help of these allies, Kelvin continued to test and improve his invention. Night after night, they studied, soldering wire after wire and rewiring circuits until the machine was refined. It was more powerful and more stable than ever before. Eventually, Kelvin named it the Ether Generator, a device that could draw unlimited energy from the environment. He was on the verge of proving its potential to the world. Meanwhile, the world outside was changing too. Energy prices had skyrocketed and governments panicked about shortages. Rumors of Kelvin's invention couldn't be ignored. Headlines questioned if this boy genius could solve the climate crisis overnight. Paranoid CEOs and secret generals started meeting in dark rooms. Could they allow this revolution? Many decided they would not.
Plans were drawn up to confiscate or destroy Kelvin's work, to brand him a criminal or a fraud if necessary. Despite this mounting tension, one thing was clear. Kelvin had captured the attention of the globe. Late one night, as Kelvin was on the verge of a breakthrough, the mind shook. His secret hideout had been discovered. Armed men flooded in with flashlights and big guns. In a split second, Kelvin grabbed the core of his machine, a glowing orb of humming coils, and dove through a hidden tunnel. Bullets ricocheted behind him as he barely escaped. Outside, the cold night air hit him like ice. Kelvin realized he was now a fugitive, hunted by those who saw his work as a threat. But as he watched the stars, he felt something else. Adrenaline. His mission was no longer just about science, it was a fight for the future. Relocating to a hidden lab deep in the mountains, Kelvin regrouped with his team. They worked furiously to complete the final prototype. Drawing diagrams on the walls with chalk, they combined ancient energy concepts with modern physics. From the windows of their secret hideout, the team watched the sky. A faint shimmer turned into a ribbon of green-blue light, like the northern lights erupting on the mountain peak. When the last piece was in place, Kelvin held his breath and engaged the ether generator at full power. A gentle glow filled the room, and a burst of energy shot up into the sky. The entire mountain peak lit up with a silent aurora of power. In that moment, Kelvin knew he had done it. Unlimited, clean energy was now his to control. Kelvin couldn't keep this secret forever. He decided to broadcast the proof live. Using a hacked satellite link and every available TV channel, he streamed from his mountaintop lab, Millions tuned in around the world. People held up their phones to record the strange flicker in the sky. Viewers watched, breathless, as Kelvin narrated his experiment. The galaxy of viewers hanging on his every word. This is for everyone, he said. For the students, the farmers, and the dreamers who thought hope was lost. Then he switched on the generator for the cameras. Suddenly, streetlights dozens of miles away blazed back to life. A city illuminated at midnight. The chat exploded with disbelief. A New York entrepreneur watching on his phone gasped. No way, he actually did it. The reaction was immediate and explosive. Social media was ablaze with the hashtag Kelvin Doe Free Energy. Powerful forces moved even faster. Worldwide news outlets spun the story. Some claimed it was a hoax. Others hailed it as a game changer. Chaos erupted. Some cried, Miracle. Others screamed, Fraud. International alarms blared across every channel. Big power companies held emergency meetings behind closed doors. Meanwhile, ordinary people formed support groups and even sent small donations to Kelvin's project fund. They realized, if free energy was real, it could change lives overnight. With millions watching, Kelvin arranged a daring confrontation. He challenged the energy tycoons to face him, to witness his invention's true power. The world waited. In a packed press room hidden beneath the mountain, representatives of the global oil cartel appeared on a big screen. They tried intimidation tactics, reminding everyone of supposed risks and unverified science. But Kelvin, calm and fearless, turned on the generator right then and there. Cameras caught the ceiling lights flicker on from nothing but the mysterious power of his machine. The crowd gasped. In that moment, the truth was undeniable. Free energy was not a dream. As dawn broke, News of the demonstration spread like wildfire. Protesters gathered outside government buildings, demanding access to this new power. Activists in every country rallied behind Kelvin's message. Energy belongs to humanity, not corporations. Some governments scrambled, realizing they couldn't continue their old ways in the light of Kelvin's proof. Others plotted to study and copy the technology if they could. In one city, people spontaneously threw block parties lit solely by the generator's power. People danced under lights that hadn't worked in years, powered by Kelvin's invention. Kelvin became a folk hero of sorts. Posters of him with slogans sprang up everywhere. Future bright, power to the people, light we need. In the aftermath, leaked emails and insider scoops began to pour out. Journalists uncovered evidence of secret meetings among global leaders about Kelvin's invention. Many were horrified to learn how close the world had come to burying this breakthrough. A well-known whistleblower testified that some top executives had actually debated drastic measures to stop the generator's spread. Suddenly, the conspiracies Kelvin had whispered about became fact. Instead of despair, the public felt relief and anger. Relief that Kelvin survived, 
in anger at those who had tried to suppress progress. The narrative had changed, the shadowy villains were exposed, and Kelvin emerged as a truth-teller.